What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, that single reaction is coming to y'all. Special PayPal, PayPal request from Andrew Mackey. I'm pretty sure I got your name right. Andrew Mackey. Um, this is also, I uh, put this back at the top. Um, I know some people were saying they kind of prefer it better at the top. And um, I kind of agree. I kind of like it better at the top because if, if I got to make it transparent, It'll blend in with this white and not the Kobe exactly. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do this. But, yeah, uh, shout out to you, Andrew Mackey. Um, this is Eric Bogle. The band played Waltzing Matilda. No idea who this person is. Never heard of this person. Um, This looks familiar. Like I did them before, but I don't know if he's a part of this group. Or what? But we're going to jump into it because, like I said, I love new things on my channel. That is the fun part um, about it. And we're going to jump right into this, y'all. Because I'm pushing today. I'm pushing some videos. It is 1 o'clock. When I start videos at 1 o'clock, I plan on pushing videos out. Because I want to get y'all, I want to get the get y'all the green light um, soon for the, the, to send me more PayPal's in. So I want to push these out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, let's let's jump into it. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Eric Bogle. I wrote this song in nineteen seventy one. Now the mathematicians will work out that was thirty eight years ago. He wrote this song in this nine. is how old this song is. And I wrote it after I saw my first Anzac Day March. Uh, in Australia, which was in Canberra in 1971. And I wrote this song, and here it is. Mm -hmm. Next year, John and I celebrate our 30th anniversary together. I bought him a gold watch. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wait, do he mean like they together, or he's saying like it's a band. Either way, it's fire. I mean, I bet you're glad I came out of that salvation out of my hostel. Huh? <laughs> and rescued me. <laughs> <laughs> now, when I was a young man, I carried me pan. And I lived the free life on the roller From the Murray's Green Basin To the dusty outback Oh, I waltzed my Matilda all over Then in 1915 My country said, son It's time you stop rambling there's work to be done. Okay, so off rip, somebody's going to have, <laughs> this is going to be probably hard for me to really get into. This here, um, because it's, it's sort of more about the message. And when you don't understand the message, you can't just pretend like you know what's going, you know what I'm saying? Like, because like I said, obviously I'm not checking vocally for what he's doing. Um, he's not, not like a vocal guy. But clearly there's a message here. Um, but I don't understand what it is. Even by the title, the band played Waltzing Matilda. I would have no clue what that means. So they gave me a tin hat. But that's why y'all here. I want y'all to And they me. gave me a gun. And they marched me away to the war. Hmm. And the band played waltzing Matilda As the ship pulled away from the quay And amidst all the cheers The flag waving in tears We sailed off for Galilee How well I and you don't never want to like go in on legends. You know what I'm saying? He they they clearly put a lot of work in for over 30 years. He said, 
So I think that's a, a, a an incredible thing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know much about him, but this is just my reaction and my first reaction. And it's sort of eh, but I don't like saying at. Eh. I'm saying at eh towards the vocals are just kind of like it's like that. But what does the song mean? Let me check. Okay. The band playing. Waltzing, waltzing, Matilda. Okay, like, what does this mean? What is the message? Here we go. It's a song written by Scottish-born Australian singer-songwriter Eric Bogle in 1971. The song describes war as futile and gruesome. While criticizing those who seek to glorify it. Oh, wow. That gives so much perspective to the song now. Okay. Yeah, I really look, by the way. The song describes war as futile and gruesome. While criticizing those who seek to glorify. Wow. Let's go back now. Remember okay. Going we'll back, sir. Just a little bit. To the war. And the band playing waltzing Matilda. As the ship pulled away from the key. And amidst all the cheers. The flag waving in tears We sailed off for Gallipoli hmm. How well I remember That terrible day How our blood stained the sand wow. And the water blood And of how in that hell That they called Sulabay Understanding a lyric really puts so much into perspective. It really does. We were butchered like lambs at the slaughter. It made the song so much better for me. Johnny Turk, he was waiting. He primed himself well. He showered us with bullets and he rained us with shell. Wow. And then five minutes flat. He'd blown us all to hell. Wow, wow. Nearly blew us right back to Australia. Wow. But the band played waltzing Matilda. When we stopped to bury our slain. Hmm. We buried our and the Turks buried theirs Then we started all over again Oh my god And those <laughs> I really like love the song now it, If I didn't, let me see something If I didn't look that up just now This would have not hit for me at all Because I wouldn't know what I'm listening to I wouldn't have got the song You know what I'm saying? Um and it's normal. I told you I'm very, very honest. You know what I'm saying? Um, but but it make what I just read makes it so much better now. Like we're left. And I personally think that this is the way this should be sung. Funny enough, this is the way this song should be sung. More in a storytelling kind of a vocal. You know, and like what? Those that were left. We tried to survive mm -hmm. in that mad world of blood, death, and fire. And this is the war. And for ten weary weeks, I kept myself alive. Though around me, the corpses piled higher. Jesus. Then a big Turkish shell knocked me off. 
overhead And when I woke up in me hospital bed And saw what it had done Oh, I wished I was dead Never knew there was worse things than dying Wow For I'll go no more waltzing Matilda All around the green bush far and free To hum tent and pegs A man needs both legs No more waltzing Matilda for me mm. So they gathered the cripple the wounded the man What I would like to know is what is exactly waltzing Matilda That's what I want to know Waltzing Matilda Is that like a, a saying or Waltzing Matilda. So, oh, as the country, wait, Bush Ballad has been described as the country's unofficial national anthem. It's a song developed in Australia. Oh, oh. No more waltzing Matilda. Okay. So it's technically Australia's unofficial national anthem. And they shipped on. Oh, this song is good. The wound in the main. And they shipped us back home to Australia. The armless, the legless, the blind, the insane. Those proud wounds. Heroes of Sula, and as our ship sang into circular key, I looked at the place where me legs used to be. Wow. And thank Christ, there was nobody waiting for me to grieve, to mourn. Or to pity. Wow, wow, wow. But the band played waltzing Matilda. Uh huh. Now yeah, I, know. I know. As they carried us down the gangway. But nobody cheered. Right. They just stood and stared. Then they turned their faces away. And so now, every April, I sit on me porch and I watch the parade pass before me. Wow, it can't even, like, it's not even the I same. see my old comrades, how proudly they march, reviving all dreams of past glory. Oh, wow. The old men march slowly, all bones stiff and sore. The tired old heroes from a forgotten war. And the young people ask, what are they marching for? And I ask myself the same question. But the band plays waltzing Matilda. But they go ahead and play the nat that artificial national. The old men still answer the call. But as year follows year, more old men disappear. So it's like, what are you celebrate? What are we, you know? I can't celebrate. What are we celebrating for when all this has happened? to us is that what i'm getting is that kind of what's what what he's saying here someday no one will march there at all so much bloodshed 
Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And their ghosts may be heard as they march by that billabong. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. That was so beautiful, man. That was so beautiful. I'm gonna watch. Oh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I don't think I've ever got wrapped into a story as much as I just did just now. Um, that story was so like deep. That was so deep. You know what I love the fact that I got so many Australian supporters now, I get to learn so much about the culture. You know what I'm saying? I learned so much about your country and, and the wars and things that I just didn't know about. Like, you know, I, I would have taught this stuff in school. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, that's what school kind of sucks now. They, they taught you all the wrong stuff. History was not what it was. She didn't tell us the truth. Whatever, that's a whole other topic. But um, this was just so, so deep. And going into this, I did not think I was going to like this. Um, but, but I realized when you hear this, this is a perfect example of something being bigger than a vocal. He sung this really, really well for telling this kind of a story. This wasn't meant for belting and rhymes and riffs. It was meant to be sung this way. So I appreciated this song, man. And I'm sure y'all will give me more clarity of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, In, in, the, dis uh, in the comments. But yeah, I, I loved it, man. I loved it. I'm actually shocked. Uh, I actually loved that song. Thank y'all so much for watching, man. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Everything is in the description to the next video. Peace.